Peace, world. This is Sincere right here, and I'm back with another video. When you hear that, that's the sound of the police. You know what I'm saying? Today, uh, I guess this will be my mascot for the day. His name is Kodak. I've been pairing him up to my cinnamon, hat ultra male, hat hypo slash ghost. And he is a uh, visual ultra male, hat 100% hat hypo. So I'm, I'm in the process of making some ultra glows. Ultra male, high visual, visual ultra male, visual hypos, and possibly cinnamon with it too, since she's the female is a cinnamon. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. I can't wait. I got other projects that I'm working on as well. But uh, yeah, just wanted to, you know, touch base. I drop a video once a week. Peoples, what up? This is Sincere right here. Sincere right here. Sincere right here. It's gonna be a change in this game. It's gonna be the streets of the beast. Time for these streets. Let's get it on the popping, yo. Delicate fan. Sincere. Every day, all day. We do not play. Cruising by on wheels that's two five a size With my hair rubbing on his bad damn thighs You can tell I'm high, just look at my eyes Damn your man stay stuck with that damn nine and, and I said let me showcase this snake Cause I, for some reason I really love ultra males Ultra males and um They have another gene that's similar to it called the Monarch But to me, the Monarch Like the darker purples that's in this one And the Monarch, they're more of a brownish Or more like a uh like a, this is just the darker color. But um, then they got the um, burgundy uh, albinos, which I believe the burgundy or the maroon albinos are really uh, ultra males, but I'm not 100% sure. But if I'm not mistaken, I believe so. But either way it goes, my favorite of those are the ultra males. I love the ultra males. And the older he gets, the better he's getting. Like he's he's not fading. Like he's not gonna, he's not losing his color. And that's why I chose ultra male to work with. I'm going to be implementing a lot of different genes into his offsprings as as, as time go, and um, I just really like Ultramel. Um, it is a recessive gene. The best thing about Ultramel is that it's not easy to make. Uh, so, because it's not easy to make, a lot of people won't be able to make it, but they'll they'll buy it from you, or they you know they'll look for the easier route. Um, there are other genes that look similar to it. Uh, they have bananas, they have lavender. I like our lavender albinos. I'm working on lavender albinos too. Um, I, you know, I, I like lavender albinos. Uh, all albinos are cool with me, I like them all, but I have my particular ones that I like the most. And of course, this is one of them. It is an albino family, but it's an ultra male. Ultra melanistic is what it's short for. And he's just a puppy dog chain snake. He's a, he's a, he's, he's perfect. He's a, he's just a great animal to have. Um, very proud that I chose him and he's in the process of being the daddy soon. Yep. So I also wanted to take the time out to salute a lot of the, um, breeders out there. It, it's a tough time for almost anybody in any hobby. That's number one due to the economy but during these times you know it's going to shine through who is what and it, it makes a huge difference because when you have um economic issues where the economy is doing bad as far as money is being involved um you know people start struggling a lot of the people that are in it just to be for a quick flip they're leaving you know and this hobby you really got to be passionate about it because you're going to have slow slow days slow weeks slow months and you just got to keep going with the flow like me a slow day is a regular day for me i mean you know i i mean i mean i'm really into this just because i like to breed and see what i can make uh, i do have a business off of it since they're exotics and that's strictly off of excess of what i don't have to keep and i will sell them um i i i love the hobby i love the people in this hobby you know um we got we got podcasts and big salute to two of the um most recent ones that i was on i was on lady tisk on um reptiles and cocktails and i was on gp snakes recently and you know i had a lot of fun we got keys constrictors they doing their thing 
Uh, you got so many people out there that's doing their thing. And, you know, you just got to find your avenue. And, um, you know, I just like every aspect to this hobby. And I like to educate. I like to teach y'all things, you know. And, 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 and speaking on that, I definitely, I most definitely want y'all to understand that it's very important to clean your enclosures. Um, a lot of people don't clean their enclosures, you know, enough. They'll clean it every certain amount of time and it, it, it just sits and sits. And imagine you as a person sitting on top of your own urine or your own feces. It's just it's unhealthy. It's not good for you. Um, don't do that to your animals. Clean your enclosures. Uh, if you have to clean often, so be it. Clean it often. But make sure you keep your enclosures clean because these are living animals and they depend on us to take care of them. They depend on us to make sure that they have food, clean water, clean water. Make sure y'all clean that water, the water bowls, man, that too. But you know, they, they depend on us to make sure that they have everything that they need. Um, and you'll have a happy animal. Other than that, you won't have a happy animal and they'll be dying and sick and passing the sickness off to the other snakes if you have a large collection and you'll be in a whole world of problems. So make sure y'all taking care of these animals Make sure you're cleaning these animals, the tubs. You know, um, another thing is when y'all soak these animals, um, a lot of people like to soak them in bathtubs. Don't use a lot of water. Um, yeah, some of them, they like to swim, but believe it or not, it stresses them out really bad. Um, it's like, imagine you can't swim and you're in deep water and you just start splashing around. Some of these snakes really panic when they're in too deep of water and you can cause stress where they can actually really like, literally probably have a heart attack. So you don't wanna stress these animals out too much, especially when you're soaking them. Soaking is good though, but over soaking them with too much water, it's no good. Some of us overfeed our animals where the animals are obese uh, to each his own. Uh, some people feed weekly, some people feed every two weeks, some people feed every, feed every three weeks, and then there's some that go monthly. Underfeeding is no good. Malnour a malnourished animal is no 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 bueno. It's no good at all. Overfeeding is no good. An obese animal is no good. So you need to find that sweet spot. You know, it's all up to you and the animal and how it's growing. And once you find that sweet spot, you'll be good to go. Uh, you know, and you know, just enjoy y'all holiday season. A lot of things going on this season. The weather is cold outside in most of the areas of America. Uh, so make sure you got your heat, your heat um, set right, your thermostat set right, and you on top of your game. You know, just wanted to touch base with all y'all. Y'all have a good one. I enjoy y'all. I appreciate y'all a lot. Thank y'all for watching. Show some love. Click like and subscribe. Share the video. You know, I mean, you know, I'm trying to get to a thousand. I'm I'm almost at the halfway mark, but I would like to get a thousand views, a uh, thousand subscribers. So if y'all out there, you want to show some love? Go ahead and subscribe. Spread the love, show other people. I got another video coming. I, I, eventually, I'm gonna up my videos because right now I'm doing one a week, trying to you know find my medium between life, work, play, and my hobby. And so far, I have time for one day a week to deal with this because I still gotta go clean some enclosures, and that's what I gotta go do right now. So, y'all take care. Y'all keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Yo, peace. When you hear that. That's the sound of the police.